digital stuff to show you. I have some paper here to look at. And uh, first, I want to mention a couple of things that one of the main reasons we need to keep newspapers alive is because without newspaper headlines, you wouldn't have things like this. This is these are some of the headlines that we've seen recently. Uh, Diana was still alive hours before she died. <laughs> it may seem obvious, but you know, the headline really screams it. Bugs flying around with wings are flying bugs. You really need to know the assembly. Here's one that this was from a few years ago when we had a different president. Republicans are turned off by the size of Obama's package. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. Uh, federal agents raid a gun shop to find weapons. It's really news there. And you get sometimes you learn things. Statistics show that teen pregnancy drops off significantly after age 25. <laughs> so you don't have a lot of teens getting pregnant when you are in your 20s. Um, and then here's one marijuana issue was sent to a joint committee. <laughs> Somebody's trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> and this is something. Homicide victims rarely talk to the police. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. Seventeen remain dead in the morgue shooting spree. <laughs> Starvation can lead to health hazards. You know, there's a lot of obvious things. <laughs> Just, just to prove to you that I do know a little bit about digital, I, I found a couple more on my phone. Uh, here's a headline. A 30-year friendship ends at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Astronaut takes the blame for gas in the spacecraft. <laughs> so, there are some things, I mean, one of the things about LMC that we stress is that you need these different types of media. You can't just do one media anymore. Back in the old days, you know, Frank knows about the old days, right, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, you had to advertise in the daily newspaper, and that was about the only place you could advertise. <coughs> There's all these different areas, and you gotta kind of make use of all of them, and that's what we try to do at LMC is mix things together. But there are some things that each one has advantages over the other. Uh, you know, with radio, you can hear it. You don't have to be really paying attention. You can be doing other things and still listen to the radio. You can kind of do that with TV, but you can also sit there and watch it all day long or play on your couch and watch it uh, as well as listen to it. With print, there's some other advantages. Um, you can look at it. You can't really hear it. But you can look at it and you can touch it. And you can even smell it. I love this on newsprint. So you get more senses involved. So sometimes the different senses that you get involved reinforce the message. So I have one advertiser that he only likes to do TV and print because he thinks the more you see things, the better you remember them. So it's just one of the things that, that uh, advantages that you have in print. And then, uh, you know, if you've got the, you've got the hearing and, I mean, the, the seeing and the feeling and the smelling, those are some of the advantages that we had. And you don't have to worry about your newspaper ringing when you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's another thing you can use newspaper for. And we don't have to do it today because it's kind of cool in here. But you can, it makes a nice fan that gets hot in the room. You know? So there are some things you can use, use newspaper for. And at home, a lot of times, if you have pets, you know, newspapers come in handy because you've got to start with the dog. You know? <laughs> Right here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing that for? Sometimes they do things with print, you know, because you can't. Because <laughs> that'd be a $900 phone if it was on it. <laughs> so there's some things you can do with print that you can't do with digital. So, uh, apparently not. Um, so. I see that you've been reading there. Did you find anything interesting? Well, yeah, I picked up this newspaper. It's uh, picked it up on my way out of High Bee. It has an article in here about bat safety. My, my aunt is aging senior, so that topic appealed to me because I'm trying to help her live a healthy, healthy life. She's, you know, she's uh, walks around on her walker, and so um, um, bat safety is really important to her. So that topic was really important. But you know, newspapers are so out of date, you know. Who needs newspaper anymore or print? 
Concentrate on is making sure the ad that you have in there is an effective ad because you can kind of waste advertising dollars if you don't pay attention. So that's one of the things that we'd like to help with is making sure the ad is effective and tells about your business and what makes your business different or special as compared to somebody else that maybe does the same thing. So um, uh, what we what I wanted to mention we got a. <coughs> I read this, this story the other day. I printed it out in print. I printed it out. So if you look, instead of reading it on my iPad. And the title of this uh, column is called Print Trumps Digital in the Attention Economy. So it's stressing <clears throat> one of the advantages of print. It, it grabs your attention because it's right there in front of you. You've got a hold of it. And the fellow that wrote this was, he called himself a digital evangelist. Because he's kind of big into the digital stuff. But... He happened to be uh, somewhere and uh, there was a magazine laying right there. So he picks it up and he read it and enjoyed it and he had an epiphany. And he wrote, he said, so that day while I was on holiday, while my favorite digital magazine was behind an on switch and endless layers of apps among hundreds of digital choices, there was that one single print magazine right in front of my eyes, lying quietly next to my iPad, occupying the same physical space, whispering, read me. <laughs> so. He points out that he discovered that print is able to cut through the clutter of digital because now these days there's so much different kinds of digital the old-fashioned print kind of stands out because there aren't that many of them left and we know because there's been a lot of print magazines uh, and newspapers come and go over the last 13 years that I've been doing this so there aren't that many choices so it is kind of a way to stand out he says ironically the more pervasive the digital media gets the more unique and special print media becomes. So that was just one of the things I wanted to point out on that. So it's just kind of a different way to think about print as part of your uh, marketing package. I used to work in, uh, my, my very first business, I've owned a, num a number of businesses in my, in my life. In 1998, I started a publicity firm for mobile technology companies, and then we're all, so I got, I got into digital really, really early on. Um, but when we, we moved back to Topeka in early 2000, and one thing I noticed was that Topeka did not have its own uh, magazine. And I, I still love uh, the idea of print, but I, uh, so I started TK Magazine because I thought Topeka needed its own publication, uh, something that helped to uh, position Topeka as um, legitimate um, to promote and tell the stories of Topeka businesses. Um, so I, I've always loved print. It's, it's, it's tangible. I can, I can see it, smell it, feel it. I, um, I loved opening up the box of TKs when I got them in it for the printer. I just love that. I love the smell of fresh ink. And so um, I just, I, I really believe that even today with the digital age that print still has an, an important part uh, of the mix. In fact, um, with the, I, my full-time job, other than helping Lee as I'm the director of marketing for the state Department of Commerce, so we're attracting businesses to the, the state. That's our job is to sell Kansas to other businesses who are looking to locate here. And print is still um, a key part of our marketing. Uh, even in this digital age where everybody's doing all this digital stuff, we have to have um, uh, print in the mix. We, um, so if there's a, a, a trade magazine about the aviation industry and they're going to do an article about um, what the aviation industry is doing. We want to have our ad adjacent to that story so that when they're reading that, uh, Kansas is affiliated with that topic. If it's about manufacturing, we want uh, Kansas to be affiliated with that topic so that those who are reading it and interested in it, uh, that topic and considering a place for their business, then they uh, will associate Kansas with that topic. So when uh, a few years back when Lee was um, interested in, in expanding his uh, publishing empire into um, from the Metro Voice, and he thought that Topeka needed a um, something to tell uh, 
about health and wellness and helping us all live a healthier life. I was interested in that because I love print and I love the topic, I love the idea. Um, and people are always wanting to live healthier, but do we know how to, you know? And so that's how we got started on that. And, but how does, how does print fit in with all this other stuff that we can do in the collective? Like we've got all these uh, local media, but how does fit, print fit into that? And so um, I think what, what I've learned through my years of both um, working in digital and working with print is that they work, anything that you do with, uh, if you add print to a campaign that includes TV, um, and I appreciate um, like having free local TV, I think that's awesome. And um, radio, I think radio is awesome. But if you add print to it, it enhances that message. Um, there's a new study that found that the inclusion of print magazines in the media mix drives purchase intent. So brands that include print magazines in their media mix saw a 22% uplift in brand trust. A 55% increase in brand favorability and 29% lift in purchase intent. So they're not only, they're seeing your message, they're touching your message, and it's resonating with them. And so then they hear the message in other places and it increases their um, interest in buying from you. Um, so I just think that it's, it's important that we combine and print is still in the, in the mix. When you're uh, doing these other things, don't leave print out. Even though it may be old school and not cool, it's still really important. So in the keeping with the print idea, we printed this form and it's for you to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one marketing consult with us. And we've kind of had some incentives for that. We've printed some gift certificates at, to local restaurants. So if you, sit, if you sign our printed form and have a consult, you'll get a $20 gift certificate to a restaurant. And if you end up buying advertising from LMC through this, you'll get a $50 gift certificate to a restaurant. Cool. And then we're also, we've also started a deal where if you give us a referral and somebody else that you refer comes and, and buys an advertising package, they get, or you get a $100 gift certificate. So just a way to kind of give back for helping us all work together. So does anybody have any questions about it? Yeah, because we printed some uh, <laughs> dollar coupons to the pad. So anybody you know, that has some questions are going to have some value. Go to the pad and get it all right. <laughs> so, questions about print? I don't have any questions, but I've kind of got an observation. Um, you know, to start off, you know, everybody knows what a nook is, right? Or it's one of those little devices where you can have literally a thousand books on a little tablet, carry it around with you and read it. All three of my boys have books. My wife's got a book. Um, I've got an iPad. But you know, there you know, there is something that print has that is superior to any piece of electronics known to mankind. Um, batteries never die. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can read the I can read this anywhere if necessary. I can use it to make light if it's too dark to read. You know, compared to this, you want to you want to see children start to freak out, hide their chargers and watch them panic as the batteries in their phones start dying. So, Kids have too much screen time anyway. They need to hold on to some print once in a while. Besides like that, you you can. When was the last time you hugged your tablet? <laughs> <laughs> Questions or thoughts about print? Surely somebody did something. Does anybody in here use print? We've got some dollar coupon. Okay, there's one right over here. Um, I use print. Let's see if I can find your ad. See if you can find your ad. ad. <laughs> that's right. I saw it earlier. Right here. Because that's the problem with only a TV station is that if they're not already watching your TV station, how do you reach them? Well, print is a very effective way. I will say that I got more calls off of print than I've gotten off of my own TV ads. So, because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's new people. So, somebody else with an ad in the Metro Boy 
place that I see. I like the experience of going to the library. You know, the books. Uh -huh. it, it's just for me that I like that because I can mm -hmm. look. Yeah. We, we don't use the library as much as we used to, but we should. And I can't give up my <laughs> How important is consistency in um, in colors, logo, um, you know, all of that in your print advertisement? And how often should you um, place a print down? Well, you know how in real estate they say it's location, location, location. Well, in advertising, it's. Uh, <laughs> Consistency. That's what it's consistency. Because you got to keep doing it. You can't. I have people come to me sometimes. They say, "Well, I don't know if this will work. Let me put my business card in there for a month and see what happens." Well, you know, if you just run it one time, not much is going to happen. You got to keep doing it. And if you're a plumber and you run a plumber's ad, well, maybe nobody needs a plumber that month. And the next month they look through the paper and your ad's not there. You know, they got to see it several times to reinforce it. That's why you advertise. Brian doesn't just sell one ad on his TV stand. You gotta buy a lot of them to get the results. And so we don't, like to, we don't like to sell one ad, you know. You gotta have it, you gotta be able to have a budget that works for a period of time. And then, you know, with your logos and stuff, it's very important. You gotta keep that consistent through all your advertising. Because people see that, whether it's on TV or in print or whatever, then associated with that so it's just like uh, sometimes you see it you see a TV commercial that's like 30 seconds and then notice after a while it's only a 15 second and they kind of cut it down short but if you know if you watch that you remember the parts that were left out and so you you know it just takes that much to remind you of what you had seen somewhere else I was going to show like one example would be Adventure Dental and Vision they just recently opened in Topeka and they've been consistent in here and they they love uh, being a part of this publication because it's a consistent and they get to share a message. Uh, and that, that uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about is the importance of content marketing because people are looking for information. Um, that, that's why Google is so um, popular because people are always searching questions, right? They're all, they always have questions. And when they're going, when, um, they're going through the high V and they see a headline for something, even if it's in print, it's, it may be that the, the question or the answer that's on a publication, whether it's any of our local publications, one of these, it might answer a question for them, something that they're gonna be intrigued about and picked up. Then you can associate, you can put your content in a publication like this. You can write an article and express your uh, expertise on something and associate it with your brand. And that's what these doctors do with uh, the dental and vision practice. Um, so I just really, I love success stories like that. Uh, one company that's been in here that's not about health and wellness necessarily, but it's a, it's a dance company, Kansas Ballet. And they love putting their ad in here, and then every once in a while they do stories in here about the health benefits of dance. And so um, that is them telling a story, telling, educating, is providing free education, um, and they're promoting themselves through content because people are always interested in learning something new or seeking out information. So, you know, Roger was just gonna ask a question, but before he does, I wanted to mention, I saw him looking at the Dirty Dog uh, ad in there. And you know, they've got their, their nice big sign and logo. And you drive down the street, you see that on their sign on the side of the building, and then their ad is really big. So, you know, it keeps it consistent. And what they also do is they mention in their ad some things that make them different, you know? They've not only got dog, doggy daycare, they've got boarding, grooming, and training, and state-of-the-art facility. So you have to have something in your head, I think, that makes you stand out and, and shows what's different from other people. Did you have a different question? Well, actually, I'm just gonna make a comment. A couple of things is one of the things that I like about print, and I am not as technical and advanced as some people in the back of the room. But uh, <laughs> if I get interrupted in the midst of reading this suicide prevention article, I can go right back to tomorrow or the other day or whatever, and I don't have to hunt for it. It's right where I left it, where it's like sometimes on the computer I'm looking at things and I get distracted, and when I go back, they're not there, and I have to run. Yeah. And I like something else I was going to bring up because I don't know how many times I see something on TV and I, oh, 
what was that number, phone number? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank, thank goodness on my DVR, I can go back and see it, but on the other TV one, it's, it's, it's gone. And same thing happens on the radio when I'm driving down the, down the highway. I got nothing to write that down. <laughs> but you can always tear something out of there or, or couponing, you know, be more that's the only place you can really do a coupon is in print. So that's some things come in handy for print that you can't do in other places. Sometimes the high point of the article, you may not want to tell everyone this whole article, but you can look over here and go, that's a really good point. You have your little pen and you do that, and then you don't have to hunt for it again. It's right there. The other thing I was going to mention is occasionally Mandy writes a little article for health and wellness, and we have these in our lobby. Have a little table with a couple of chairs, so if you're waiting to get your dog back from grooming or something, people will pick this up and read it. And as they're leafing through it, they see this article about dogs. And they read that, and when they get to the end, they realize that the article came from our business where they're sitting waiting for their dog. And I think that somehow the fact that it's in print in this paper yeah. gives you a little more credibility. And we were talking about that the other day. Somebody asked me one of the things they liked to do was have an ad and also an article. They reinforce each other. So we do some of that in both of the papers where you can have an ad and then you can also write an article, something that you're in your field of expertise so that people begin to see you as an expert in that area. So that's kind of like what, what Chris does when he interviews people, you know, you kind of get to know the person a little bit more than just seeing their ad and what they do and what makes them different. So yeah, I think that's an important thing to give them. Yeah, I've got a question, but it might cost me a dollar for <laughs> <laughs> Is your newspaper available digitally? It is. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have a, a website and all of the issues going back the last five years are available in PDF form. Are the ads and all that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So sometimes people will call me up and say, you know, I read an article last September uh, last year about substance. You, you know where that's well, you know, you can find it on our website if I don't have any copies of it left. And that's, that's good because it does have all the ads in there as well. And it's digital, right? It's 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 you don't want to do just one thing, you got a little bit of everything. I got one thing left, one more question. I'll oh, take it. Well, I, think I'm gonna, you I want to add that uh, what helped print is the USA Today. Well, how do you mean? Well, at every airport, mm -hmm. and hotel, hotel is the USA Today, mm -hmm. and that reinforces. Yeah. It does it actually does it not? Actually, yeah. we call our paper after USA Today because it used to just be black and white and didn't have a whole lot. And we wanted it to be more colorful and interesting to a wider audience. So we put things in there that pertain to everything in the community that's family friendly. So. Okay, I think we've used up our time, so I appreciate you listening.